unable, Johnson just unable to find a Western player with that ball. Ends up in Wellington Phoenix. And out comes Hillary Beal. Strong, strong opportunity to cut that ball off to Michaela Robertson. I really thought that was an early opportunity for the Wellington Phoenix. Just another look at that. Just that ball cut off and beautiful through ball. Really favoring that right-hand side Western United are today for these attacks. Papadopoulos, Robers. Pressure there from Wisniewski. McDonald. Beautiful ball coming through. Papadopoulos, is she able to meet it? She's able to cross in. Brown Edwards lands on the ball. But a really strong passage of play there. Papadopoulos did so well to keep that ball in. Just see there that... Absolute deft touch that comes from Jess McDonald. She is a World Cup winner. She has the class. She has the quality. Great turnout at the first game that Weston had here. Very packed stadium. It's good to see how this team is being supported in their early stages in the league in their second ever home game in the Liberty A League. And Stacey Papadopoulos with a kick, an overhead kick, trying to bring the ball towards goal. Taranto, McDonald. She crosses it in. Hannah Keane's there. Good opportunity there, the best we've probably seen all game. It's, it has been magic when these two Americans have linked up. Taranto just lays it off McDonald. She, the vision to look there for Hannah Keane, just a little bit past her. Rovers asking for something. Hannah Keane manages to come one on one directly at, at Edwards. And again, Hannah Keane, ball in hand. Wellington just desperately keeping the ball out of the goal. How many plays does it stop, take to stop one Hannah Keane? And it looks like three is the magic number for Wellington Phoenix at the moment. Here you go, Hannah Keane just first shot directly at Brianna Edwards, tries to move around and Vandermeer trying to use her body. You can see Mackenzie Barry just on that, on the line there. Foster. Rolston, ball taken off her by Papadopoulos. McDonald, taking her time, lays it off for Papadopoulos. She's gonna try and whip it in. High ball in. Header from Tyler J. Vlenich. Just out for a corner. Best passage of play we've seen in the opening. 10 or so minutes in this second half. You can see it again. Papadopoulos goes for the cross. Vlanich quite a fair way out from goal. Papadopoulos. Keane. Robers goes back to Medwin. Medwin trying to lay it off the Papadopoulos. Keane's at the top of the box, fighting her way through. Vlanich takes a shot, aims it directly to the middle of goal. She has looked hungry since she's got on. Keane just lays it off there and she goes for the shot. Papadopoulos comes running through. Walker judged her fouder. Stacey Papadopoulos just manages to beat Lancaster. The foul there against Mona Walker. Taranto delivers it in. Good ball. High ball. And it's a goal. Tyler J. Vladich, her second goal in the A-League women. And what a header that was. It was coming before. It was always going to be her goal today. See that really peach of delivery there from Taranto. Finds the head of Vlanich so well. And it's her second goal in the A-League women. M most of the goals scored for Weston have come in that last 15 minute period onward. And Jess McDonald, another high ball in. This means exactly half their goals have come after the 75th minute mark within games. And another opportunity now, they seem to be alert. They seem to be hungry. Hannah Keane. Papadopoulos. Back all the way to Vosper. Lancaster. 
tries to whip it in, high ball in, but Beal is there. Blunge gonna be the one taking the free kick, so she won't be there for the header. What will she choose to do? She goes long, high ball. Brianna Edwards easily able to, co to catch it. Vosper, Emano really trying to get all over her, low ball in. But Beal has no issue with and able to just mop it up. 